Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to a new video. My name is Roy and today I'll be listening to all the songs from the Finnish national selection UMK. Yes, the past week or so they have been releasing all of the songs one by one and I had to wait here like, huh, I want to listen to these songs so badly because UMK is usually very very good and I am so excited to finally be able to listen to these seven songs. Um, yeah. I cannot wait, I genuinely cannot wait. I will be listening to them in the order that they came out, so just so you know, um, yeah. I just kinda don't wanna waste any more time, so let's jump straight into the first song. The first song that I'll be listening to is by returning band, Cyan Kicks. Their song this time is called Dancing with Demons. Let's click play. So we know that this will be a rock song probably, because last time around they were the rock band. There we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah, we rock it, of course. They kind of infused it with a trap beat, with the hi hats and stuff, and a little part that was before the first chorus as well was very trap. I don't know. Her voice sounds a bit weirdly mixed with the instrumentals in the studio version. Is that just me? I don't know. Are we gonna get a solo or breakdown? Even better. Okay, give it. Break down. Yes! But again, the, the, the hi-hats from the trap are still in there as well. Wasn't the previous song that there was a male and a female voice singing? I don't remember on top of my head, but... Somewhere, faintly, I, I remember something like that. Maybe I'm wrong, though. It's also still very poppy. Like, it's not super duper in your face, like, yo, we're a rock song. Like, yes, obviously it's a rock song. Um, but I think people who don't like rock that much will also still very much enjoy a song like this and I think that's a very good thing for them. Um, will it be enough to win? I don't know. I don't know the competition. UMK is usually very very strong. Is this the best rock song I've ever heard? Also no. But that's maybe also because I am very much a person who listens to a lot of rock and metal and I kind of like my metal maybe a bit more hard but um, yeah. I get it. This this is very much more catered towards the pop people, um, but it's very good, and I cannot wait to hear it live because that is gonna be a make or break moment. With rock, it's not as important usually to have flawless vocals, but yeah, I hope they're really good. Um, let's go to the next song. The next song on my list is by the artist Sex Men, and the song is called Mania. Yes. Um, let's click play. Okay. Welcome. Great to meet you. Yeah, yeah. I do like myself some Finnish. <laughs> That's such a cool sounding language. Okay, where are we going? I like the production so far. It sounds very full and rich. You do hear auto tune, of course. Okay, sort of a rock influence kind of thing. So it's Mania in Finnish. Yeah, I quite like it. But is it something that I would send to Eurovision? I don't know. Like, maybe you want to be a bit more out there? I feel like it is out there in a way, but not necessarily, like, in your face out there. And I do worry a little bit about the autotune, of course, because I'm not sure if that's allowed in UMK, but it certainly isn't allowed in uh, Eurovision, so... Mania! It is catchy, like I'm already <laughs> shouting along Mania. Oh, and then it ended, okay. That was a bit out of nowhere, maybe, but uh, yeah, really cool, interesting. It, it's maybe not what I expected initially, because, yeah, I don't know what I expected, to be honest, but it, it's a bit contrasting, like his voice, and then the, the rock influence, and then you also, like, he's kind of a rapper as well, I guess. Um, yeah, 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 it's okay, it's cool. Um, <laughs> maybe I'm putting the bar for UMK, like, here. And, and maybe he's not fully clearing that, but it's good. Like, many selections would die for a song like this. Let's get that straight out of the way. Um, yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Let's go to the next song. The next song on my list is by the artist Sara Sipola. The song is called Pascana. Seems like we're gonna get something in Finnish again. Well, let's click play. Okay, trap beat. Sort of. Okay. Oh, it sounds like she will have a really great voice. 
It is pretty good, but I, I kind of wish it had a different orchestration. Like right now you kind of go towards a modern trap kind of beat. And the thing with trap is that you really kind of sap away a lot of the emotion and her voice has a lot of emotion. Um, I like this little breakdown that's kind of after the chorus. It's really what I look for in a lot of songs um, and usually don't get, so I'm, I'm pleased with that. But I feel like she can do better with like a beautiful orchestration that really enhances her voice. Now it's just her beautiful voice to a trap beat, which is fine, but it could be better. But then again, this is one of those songs you really need to hear live. And especially like, you had a church bell kind of dinging uh, when you get back into that final... I guess it's the final chorus, at least. <laughs> yeah, it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. It, it, like I said, I, I wish it was a bit more emphasizing the emotion, because right now it's, it's Trappy, her very cool, amazing voice, and, and like the afterbeat of the chorus, which the afterbeat is really nice. Why do I call it an afterbeat? It's not even that. Either way, it doesn't matter. Um, I, I just... Sending her with this song, I feel like she could do better. And that's the thing, like this is a good song, I'll probably put it on my playlist even. Um, but just feel like if you really orchestrate the emotion of her voice, like enhance it better, it would be even more amazing, like even more epic. And now I'm just a little allergic to a trap beat with emotional vocals. Like they don't necessarily click for me. Either way, let's go to the next song. The next song that I'll be listening to is by the artist Jesse Marken. The song is called Glow. Now let's click play. Oh? Oh, I immediately start to move. His voice is so good too. <laughs> this is making me happy! Do you hear this beat? Yeah, let's give us some rapid Eurovision. Do it! Hey, hey! Nice! Yo, I love it! So many times do we get rap attempts in national selections and at Eurovision. Not even at Eurovision. But they're so... Mediocre. Like, this beat is really nice, it's rich, it's different, it's very experimental in ways. His voice is really good. Like, here it is, Lil B. Like, industrial as well. And then a nice chorus as well to make it even more catchy. I like it a lot, a lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, <laughs> What a sexy beat, I love it. They play with my favorite thing as well, and that is always silence. When you just like offset, you have this very rich beat, and then just you take a moment to just have nothing, and then put up the beat again. So effective. Yes, Jesse, come on! Oh, I can hear this on the radio as well. Like, this is so good! Oh, wow. Wow. I was, one, not expecting a rap kind of song to be in UMK. Two, I wasn't gonna expect to like it, because rap is maybe not my genre, per se. But boy, is it good. It is really goddamn good. Yes. I would love it if a song like this would go to Eurovision, because rap is such an underrepresented genre at Eurovision, and, and, and why... It's tougher to perform as close to the studio version, so you kind of need to write rap differently than what you would usually do to put it on the radio or to put it on your album. And also, the rappers that have tried might not have been necessarily the best, um, but this, his voice is really nice. It's really, really rich. The beat is a little or, uh, experimental, a bit industrial, um, yet it's also very uplifting. And the chorus is very nice. It's a really, really, really dope song, and I love it. And this will go straight to my playlist, and I would not be surprised if this is amongst my favorites of the national final season. And I did not expect a rap song to be there. Yes. Um, let's go to the next song. 
The next song on my list is by Windows 95 Man. The song is called No Rules. Well, I have one rule. As a listener to the music, I need to say, let's click play. So, let's click play. Welcome. Welcome. Windows 95 Man. And I only buy one. I'm very happy that he's introducing himself, yeah? My name is Roy. Pleased to meet you. Oh, <laughs> we needed to heat up a little bit, but I'm already so excited about this. Hey, yes! No rules! Oh, it's not coming, okay. It's very throwback disco, but with a modern production, I love it. You can't sit still to a song like this, like you gotta keep dancing all the time, really. This would be really fun on the stage as well, like I cannot wait to see the staging for this. Because, like, this is already... Many choices were made. How will they stage it with big UMK budget, too? <laughs> it's so fun. Like, it's close-ish to rave uh, genres, really. And I like it. Sometimes it's just really difficult to comment on UMK songs, because there's not really that many things that are wrong with the songs. Like, they're all very, very good. So... I usually am more <laughs> analytic, like, oh, they could have improved this, or they could have improved this. This song is like, this is how it should have been. Like, is it going to win? I don't think so, and I don't think this is what they should send, but, yeah, I don't really see any flaws in this song. It's like, this is their character, this is their entire thing, and, like, they put it forward, and the entirety of Europe is able to watch it right now, because UMK is not only Finland anymore. Your fans love it. <laughs> I enjoyed it as well, um, but let's go to the next song. The next song on my list is by the artist Sini Sabotage. The song is called Kuori Mua. Getting something in Finnish again. Let's click play. Bassy. Oh, very bassy. Oh, I know where this is going. I am excited. Give it. I like the the little instrumental behind the, the beat in the chorus. I like it. Oh, such a clear production too. Like it's so good. Hey. I will say I am waiting to hear her live because it's very like you cannot stand still with this song. You need to be dancing. So your vocals need to be really excellent as well at that moment. But the B is really nice. And she's got the charisma as well. And that's always something really important as well. Piano! This is definitely how you play a piano, by the way. I don't make the rules. No rules. Oh. And then the unexpected kickback. I like it. I will put this on my playlist as well. I'll tell you that much. This will be a really fun banger. When you're on your bike outside, I know, very Dutch. Or, or just going for a walk, like, this will be great. Like, will it stand out of Eurovision? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Like, as just the song? I'm not sure. But seeing the visuals of, of her and the video clip, and if she can deliver it well live, hey, I would not be against sending this. This would be a really cool song. Not gonna lie. Uh, yeah, I really enjoyed it once again. Um, one more song left to go, so let's check that one out. The final song of this episode is by the artist Mikael Gabriel and Nublu. I believe Nublu is Estonian. But hey, correct me if I'm wrong. Uh, the song is called Fox Populi. Let's click play. Okay. What a start. <laughs> oh. Yep. Drum and bass coming through. Something like it. Okay. Rock influences. That next to rap. Hey! <laughs> it wasn't drum and bass, but it's fast paced. And this is fun. I will say, out of all of the songs, this sounds the most like it would be a Eurovision entry, if that makes sense. I don't know, there's something about it where I'm like, yeah, I could picture this on a Eurovision stage, definitely. And I like as well that with UMK, there's always something for everyone, and I love that. And I will also say, there is not really one standout. Yes, of course you do this. 
Of course, you go to like more of a classical reference to then pop off in the final chorus is even harder. Box pop bully. They immediately start to sing along. I don't even speak Finnish. I'm no Fox Popoli is not Finnish, but you get what I mean. Hey, I started in black. <laughs> Let's confirm then. Like I could even picture this on the Dutch radio. Not gonna lie. And and like obviously Dutch people cannot speak Finnish, but yeah. Uh, that was a really, really good song once again. It's a good bridge of rap and pop music while also including so much electronic influences um, and the EDM genres. Uh, New Blue is very good at that, of course. Um, yeah, it's a really, really great mix that has it all to be a good Eurovision entry. And I would say that this is definitely one of the frontrunners. Either way, I will simmer on my thoughts for a bit, give you a little of a ranking and wrap up the episode. So, see you there. And there you have it. I listened to all seven competitors in UMK 2024. And of course, I'm going to give you my ranking, and it is based on my first listen. Like, after this, I'll listen to these songs way more, and it might change. Who knows? We'll see. Uh, in seventh place, I'll put Sex Man with Mania. In sixth place, I think I will put Sara Sipola with Pascana. And uh, then in fifth, I think I'll go with Cyan Kicks with Dancing with Demons. I know, surprise, the rock guy doesn't have it very high. Ooh, ha. It's not a bad song even, it's just, I don't know, I prefer different rock, maybe? Yeah. Um, then in fourth place, it's already getting difficult now, isn't it? Yeah. In fourth place, I put Windows 95, man. It was very fun, it was very complete, but maybe it's not the one I would send to Eurovision. Yeah. In third place, I think I will put... Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I think my top three is just like, one of those should go. Like, it's as simple as that, really. I think in third... Oh, I hate choosing. I hate, I hate, I hate choosing. I think in third I'll put Cine Sabotage. It was very fun, but I still need to hear it live. And I think that's the biggest factor for drowning it down right now. But if it's amazing live, maybe it will go up. In second place, I'll put Mikael Gabriel and New Blue with Fox Popoli. It was very fun, and honestly, like, it sounds the most like their Eurovision song out of all of these. Um, but my personal favorite, and by quite a margin even, I really, really, really love this song from Jesse Markin. Uh, Glow, it's just a really nice bridge between pop, rap, uh, it has such a rich voice. It's so nicely orchestrated, very industrial in there as well, but with a very modern production and really, really, really good. Let me know in the comments down below what your ranking would be. Who do you want Finland to send to Eurovision 2024? Let me know in the comments down below. Make sure to subscribe to my channel of course, because there will be plenty, plenty, plenty more reaction videos like these, um, and a lot of other countries still have to release their songs, and I'll also probably react to the winner with the live performance. Yes! Um, do all those lovely things, share it with your friends as well, and I hope you see you in the next video. But for me, today, goodbye! <laughs>